Why hello there everybody, my name is Anthony and today I am going to be bringing you all 15 things that you might not know about the Minecraft 1.9 update. Now this is basically a part 2 to the last 1.9 things you didn't know video that I made because you guys really seemed to have enjoyed it. So uh, yeah, I figured I'd bring you all a part 2 so if you guys do enjoy today's video then be sure to give this video a like as it will help me out a huge bunch. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. I hope you all enjoy it. The wooden button and the wooden pressure plate now have a new sound. If you fall from a height onto hay bale, then it actually reduces the fall damage by 80%. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool and it does make sense to be honest. Placing four end crystals around the end portal will actually respawn the ender dragon. So you can actually respawn the dragon for XP. That's pretty cool. The Notch Apple or the God Apple that we know and love is no longer craftable in the game and it can only be found in dungeons and temples. So um, yeah, we can no longer craft that overpowered apple. The rabbits in the 1.9 update are actually a lot smaller and this feature was taken from Minecraft Pocket Edition as rabbits in Pocket Edition have always been very small. The Shulker mob now has sounds when you hit it and it's pretty much the same as the Iron Golem. The skeleton horse has actually been in the game since Minecraft 1.6 but was only spawnable with the summon command. It has now been added into the Minecraft 1.9 update officially. In the 15w44a snapshot, skeleton horses actually dropped ender crystals as a placeholder for the item that they dropped in the future, which is actually bones. A lot of things that were added in 1.9 were actually from the pocket edition version of Minecraft and the console version of Minecraft. I am now going to list what was taken from pocket edition and console. The end crystal is now craftable in 1.9. Here is the crafting recipe. There was a bug in one of the 1.9 snapshots where the fire charge would actually shoot out a dragon charge. Now it's a pretty cool bug, but it has now been fixed as of the latest snapshot. The giant oak trees from the beta versions of Minecraft are now back in the game in the 1.9 update. That is really awesome because I'm a really nostalgic person with the old beta Minecraft, so I'm really happy that they added that back into the game. In the 1.9 update, zombies can now walk across lily pad bridges and they can also walk up stone slab staircases. A long awaited feature that players have wanted is the ability to take the water back from the cauldron. Well, in 1.9, you are able to do this. In the 1.9 update, you can find 128 strongholds per world, whereas it used to be three. So, you know, they're really common now. Okay, so that just about does it for the video, everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if I missed any 1.9 facts, but uh, yeah, that's just about it. So thank you all so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!